Winter, Winter is here. Hi everyone, I'm Sadrine, this is Merrick. Hello. Welcome to a new Game of Thrones review. The review. Season finale. finale. Episode 10. The, the Winds wind. of Winter. Let's go. I think in this review we're going to break down places rather than characters because... Lots of things going on in each places, place. Places, Let's start with the Citadel. With oh. Sam and Gilly. It's a nice little surprise. I didn't expect to see yeah. them again this season. And we're seeing that Sam is still his awkward self. He's like, hey, I'm the new guy. <laughs> they take him to the library and it's like, oh, so many books. And I was like, this is like so Belle <laughs> and Beauty and the Beast. Like, you have such a big library. It looks like Sam is indeed going to play an integral part in figuring out how to defeat the White Walkers because now he has all this knowledge at his disposal. Yes. We know he's clever. Yes, if anyone can figure it out. If anyone can figure, Sam it out. can figure it out. The good news is we know that John would listen to him. Yep. If he finds out anything, so. For sure. Moving on to Dorne. So Dorne is back. As I but they didn't play the role you predicted. They That's not play. the point. That's not the point. I said that we're gonna be there. Let's focus on that. Let's, Let's focus, focus on, on that. <laughs> Dorn, honestly, one of the lamest storylines in this season. I mean, I feel like okay, like start we didn't at the see, beginning. Yeah, we didn't see them. The and whole then season. the end. I thought they were planning something big, but this was kind of lame. Yeah, I Even mean, Lady yeah. Elena was like. I feel like Lady Elena is like speaking for all of us. She totally was. When she's talking to the set, saying like, "Shut up, shut up, don't want to talk to you, go away." Which is kind of like how we feel like, "Go away, go away, hey <laughs> you. Let's talk to Ilaria. Let's, I can sort of deal with yeah, you. I can deal with you. This so, did lead to some really cool yeah, scenes. Yeah, yes, because twist. Varys. Fire and blood. Yes. <laughs> he's not. He has come to Dorne to get Dorne to follow Daenerys, but then he's gaining two for the price of one. Yeah, he's, because Elena is here too, and she's yeah, pissed. Exactly. She's like, I want vengeance. And we do know he's back with Danny now. So now we know that the Dorne and the Tyrells two. are behind her. So it's gonna be pretty epic. Speaking of supporting Daenerys, let's go to Meereen. Mm hmm Where Daenerys is saying goodbye to Dario, as you predicted. What is up? <laughs> Can people just ask me what they want the show to be like and just come and talk to me? Let's, 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 get... not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. There are a lot of things that didn't happen, all right? Calm down, calm down. Just Look, calm down. I don't get Shh. all... So, Dario is staying in Marine with the second sons and Daenerys is sailing to Westeros. But before we get to that, we got a couple of really interesting scenes. When she was saying bye to Dario, I honestly thought that she was doing this and she was feeling bad about it. And But in the next scene when she's talking to Tyrion, she reveals that she felt nothing, right? And I think it clearly shows something that we don't really like to think about when we think about Danny, but Danny is really cold. Danny is somewhat fair and she loves her people, but does she really? Does she really love anyone? So we certainly know that she's not in love with anyone. Might be some questions with Jorah and everything, but in that particular moment, you really saw the ice part of her <laughs> in a way. Yeah. Because she has ice in her and I think that's, that's very telling. I like that you're mentioning that and I think kind of going off of that, if you look at symbolism mm -hmm. and that she can't be affected by fire, she can't be warm, she doesn't have warmth in her a little bit, like she's immune to it in a way. Yeah. Uh, and that maybe that affects her in that way, her personality. I mean, maybe it's going too far, but that's kind of how I thought. I was like, oh, that's interesting that she she's cold in a way. Yeah. She's ice and fire, right? Yeah. But she's, she's immune to fire. And maybe that also prevents her from yeah. feeling warm, getting warm feelings. Yeah. It's very interesting to see how that's going to really turn out. Is it going to get worse? I mean, she cares about people, obviously. And I think, you know, maybe the romantic side of me wants to be like, maybe she just hasn't found the right oh person. Oh my God. Ugh. Her conversation with Tyrion. Yes. I made you tear oh up. Oh my God. Okay. I, I literally had to pause and cry a little bit. It's like, oh my God. He <laughs> made me love the queen. <laughs> The face on Tyrion when she pins the sigil for the hand of the queen. Tyrion, he he's, has gotten quite a lot of things because of his name, because he's a Lannister. But I think this is the first time that someone really values him for him. Which leads to Daenerys sailing 
to Westeros after six seasons. Guys, it's finally happening. It's been a while, right? <laughs> the dragons have grown. Oh, I know. I when I saw the scene where you see the three dragons like flying atop of the ships, it brought me back to the season one finale, and it just made me think like, what the hell? Those are the three baby dragons. <laughs> and six seasons later, look at them. They can take over a city. She has an army. She literally had nothing at the time except three little baby dragons were like, I don't know about this. Moving on to the twins. Walder Frey, Walder arrogant, Frey, Walder arrogant, Frey. Arrogant. You're just asking for it. The phrase in the Lannister sends their regard. You're dead. Yep, <laughs> you're dead. I honestly didn't see the Arya no. thing coming until I saw the pie being brought to the table. I'm like, well, oh, yeah. I see what's going to happen there. <laughs> the free pies happen, although in this case it was just a free pie in the book. I think it happens quite differently. There are three pies and they're pretty big, I think. It's a different, a character, different character that, that does them, but, but in, I, in the show. Yeah. I feel like it, she should have waited for him to eat them. Oh, before, you know what? We no. should have wasted all this time pre she pre prepping them, did cooking what she them, was there to you know? do, all right? It was very, very uh, interesting how the whole reveal happened. And you can yeah. see in his eyes, this is it. This yeah. is a wrap for yeah. him. He's done. I am so glad that they finally in a way redeemed Arya's storyline because this whole time you're like, did she just like, what did she do there? Is she not going to do anything with the faces? And I just, what was the point? Now you're like, okay, so at least they're using that to kill off Walder Frey. That was so satisfying. You're like, finally! Now any unknown face on which the camera lingers <laughs> on a little bit longer than that's Arya. Right. My question is, she kind of left Jack and Nagaris saying, the, the girls are a stark piece and saying, you know, I'm gonna go my way, whatever. And he's just, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if he condoned her use of uh -oh. using the faces, which is something that I don't think was ever discussed. No. Because the only way to actually use a face is to take one from the wall. Or to carve one out, maybe. I don't know. She, she so didn't she learn. So she killed quite. someone? I don't know. I'm just saying that, you know, she has learned quite a few things. So maybe she stole one on the way out. Like she's like, hey, party Either present. Either of those <laughs> things do not bode well for, for her. I think Jack and Hagar, it seems like he had a little bit of a fondness for her. So maybe he's just he's like, like letting it go. Look, it's fine. Just take a few faces on your way out. I, may I recommend <laughs> anonymous girl number six? You know, really nice skin complexion. Look, the point is Walter Frey is dead and his throat slit the same way. Wrap him up! up! <laughs> <laughs> the same way that Catelyn died. So yeah, I'll take it. Now we go beyond the wall with Benjen Stark, who confirms that there are spells put on the wall that prevent him and the White Walkers from crossing. Now, this can come into play next season because we know that Bran has been marked by the Night King, so we have been wondering if he goes through the wall, does it break the spell the same way that the spell was broken in the cave? I don't know, it's very worrisome. It really is, right? But you know what was more worrisome? <laughs> yeah. When Benjen was like, guys, peace! <laughs> it just bounced, I was like, how are they gonna move around? Yeah, I feel like she's gonna drag him around. Like, yeah. what's the plan? Like, leave yeah. the horse or something? Well, I feel like she had something to to carry him with before. Not but anymore. I don't see it. An option would be maybe warging into an animal that would then carry him in some way, or putting Ooh. him on an animal that he's. I don't know. That's that the only is way. Interesting. I did not think really? of that. Oh, that's that the is the only really, option that I see. That is a really good idea. Or, oh, yeah, or working into another, like, person. Yes, they're stranded there, but... Reveal! We get Tower of Joy! The Tower of Joy reveal, yeah. where finally Ned goes up the stairs, comes into the room to find his sister. Liana. Bloody, post-birth. She says, and those bastards, though. They, they added they, whispers yes, to mess with too. us. You don't really hear everything, but here's what she says, and I wrote it down. If Robert finds out, he'll kill him. You know he will. You have to protect him. Promise me, Ned. Promise me. Hand the baby to Ned. Cut to Jon Snow. It's canon. Jon Snow is a Targaryen. Yes. Yes, he is. And for those who are maybe a little confused as to what happened, Jon Snow is not Ned's son. It's so Ned's sister's son, Lyanna, who was in a bed. And if you remember, they kept talking throughout the seasons about how Daenerys' brother, Rhaegar Targaryen, kidnapped her, took her away. 
And uh, so we're assuming like, obviously I think this is the baby that resulted in that. So there's a side of the story where he kidnaps her and it was terrible. And there's a side of the story where it was a love story. And they so just we still don't know. Together. So we still don't know for sure. Yeah. I mean, I think it was a love story. I'm just saying, sure. you know. R plus L equals J is canon. It's been confirmed. John is, tar is the Targaryen. This is actually massively big. It's massive. It's massively big. But until we get to that, in the next seasons, we have Winterfell. Yes. Reclaimed by the Starks. Mm -hmm. We have the Stark sigil back on Winterfell in the opening sequence. And we have the Davos. Melisandre showdown. <laughs> yeah, the showdown, it actually happens. And in this particular case, John, looking at the situation, I think he made the right call to banish her. In a way, I don't know if this is the last time we hear or see from her because she still believes in the Lord of Light. She still believes she has a mission. And whether she's next to John or not, I think she still wants to accomplish that mission. Yeah. So, well, technically, if you do believe in the Lord of Light is guiding everything, maybe she isn't meant to be with John at this point. Maybe she's meant to be somewhere else to help the cause in a different way. And I think she had also told Arya when she was taking Gendry away that they would meet again, which then that kind of would lead to that. There's a lot of stuff going on there. John now has to deal with other things, in particular, his sister who uh, they had sort of like a makeup where they yeah. were like, hey, you like, know, I'm sorry. Let's, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you. Let's, you know, try to communicate better. And it was sort of a makeup. I still feel like Sansa is, is not 100% trusting Jon Snow. And her meeting with Littlefinger, he planted some seeds to make her want to be more in charge than she is now. Finally, when Jon who was trying to sort of like rally everyone. So really it's been three times that someone has to speak for him in order to convince others. It was at Castle Black, it was Sam, at Davos at uh, Bear, Bear Island. Island, and then here, <laughs> Liana Mormon speaking on his behalf, calling all the people out like bitches and say, did you answer the call? I know you did not. <laughs> did you answer the call? Mm -mm, I didn't see you. <laughs> and she's like, I answered the call. I sent 60 men. 62. Yo, 62? <laughs> she was like, I'm ride or die. Who are you? He's the king of the north. And she's like, and they're like all embarrassed and shit. And they're like, oh. King of the North! <laughs> I do have to say though, she says, we know no king but the king of the North whose name is Stark. Ned Stark blood runs into his veins and it's like, ah! well, I mean, Stark, Stark blood. There's some Stark blood. But not Ned. Ned. Nah. No. <laughs> so whenever that reveal comes into play, that he's a Targaryen. Yeah. Sansa, she's smiling and smiling and she seems really happy about King of the North, King of the North, and then she looks at Littlefinger. And then you get that moment of like, oh, damn it, he 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 did affect her a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't it's know. It's getting complicated. It's gonna be up in the air. But for now, Jon Snow, King of the North. And that leads us to King's Landing. Oh, God. Which blew up. Yes. Such, such a good scene. Oh my God. The setup. Oh my God. I think we had to pause multiple times just to like deal, deal with was what was, was happening. Happen my expectation was Cersei was not going to make it. I was so happy to be wrong because this was awesome. Oh, yes. This was and so much better than what I could have so imagined <laughs> was going to happen. Basically, the whole preparation, everybody getting set up. The music, oh my god, Ramin Jawadi, The Light of the Seven, link in the description below. Please check it out. This is my new soundtrack for my life. <laughs> I walk around, it's like, no, 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 This is me, this is my life now. It like hurt my core, it got me, it was shaking me up right here. And I was like, oh my god, what is happening? What is happening, right? Yeah, yeah. It just felt so oh, was, big and so insane. awesome. And, and it's just the plan happened perfectly. Everybody was there. Loris came first and everybody was like, all right, it's all right. And things then, are happening, things are happening. Things are happening. Things are moving. And then Marjorie is like, where's, where's, uh, where's Cersei? Where's homegirl? Yeah, where, where, what's up? Where, what's up, what's up with Cersei? Where? Marjorie is like, something's going on. What is going she on? Breaks character. She breaks character. Yeah, she totally. breaks she character. She breaks character. She breaks character to say like, Fuck your god! Fuck your god! We're all gonna die! 
bitch, don't you know what is happening right now? It's like, oh shit. Yeah. It was yeah. so. Oh and my then God. I think the High Sparrow doesn't believe it. He doesn't believe mm -mm. until that very last second where he's like. Arrogant. <gasps> We talked about his arrogance. Yeah. He was such a little arrogant prick. He, was. he really thought he had Cersei. In a way, had he even allowed trial by combat, he would have probably made it out alive. I know. Ironically. I know. And he probably still would have you know had what? something. You know what? He took her son away. Yeah. And that's a no-no. That's it. You don't play with the with, with Cersei's children. Uh-uh. Yep. So that was the end, and he's just like, oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. I love the whole Lancel getting stabbed by the little bird. <laughs> little bird and then just shit. crawling his his way through. And I'm thinking, I mean, that's such a great scene for you as an actor to play in that <laughs> that's particular moment. That was a great moment. death too, yeah. That was a fantastic death. It's the thing blows up and you see his eyes like the green. I was like, oh my god. And the music. Oh my god, did I mention yeah. the music? Did no. I mention the music? Did I mention the music? <gasps> <gasps> seriously, like clean the house. Like seriously. Loris is like, guys, guys. I've been cast in Iron Fist. Can we wrap this up? <laughs> Can we wrap, Can we wrap up? this up? Uh, I got shit Marjorie, to go. <laughs> gone. Her Marjorie. dad, gone. Kevin, Kevin gone. gone. High cool. Sparrow, High gone. High Sparrow, gone. And then let's not forget what Cersei did to Septa Onella. Because, you know, she was like playing tough. She's like, I'm ready to meet the gods. And she's like, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> we ain't meeting no gods. Let me introduce you to your new god. And God, oh, I don't, even, I don't even know what he did to her. Yeah. It's not gonna be good. He's been crushing things for a while now. Boy, let's crush. Shame, confess, confess. I will be the last face I you know. see before you oh, die. And I was oh. like, like he knew, like when did she said that line? R.I.P. Tommen Baratheon. Oh. Or Lannister, whichever you want to go with. Tommen. Tommen just Tommen could is not like deal. the saddest casualty of Cersei's plan because yeah. He's too soft. He was never, first of all, he was never meant to be a king. And you know, I think he's probably the most honest character, the most true and innocent of all of this. Like, he really believed in the High Sparrow. He really loved Margie and everybody was just playing games with him. Cersei, she loved him, but, but she wasn't there for him. She wasn't understanding really how he felt, how he was inside. That's she's too, That's very true. she's too corrupted, mm -hmm. you know, herself. Mm -hmm. Moment he died, two things happened. One. A part of her really died, yeah. right? The part that made her love anything, really, that died. Because as Jamie mentioned, yeah. he, uh, she loves her children more than anything else. Without her children, what's left, you know? In an interview uh, that you can check out on their HBO page, uh, Lena Headey actually calls it an emptiness, which is sometimes worse than hate or anything like that because how is Queen Cersei gonna rule when she doesn't love anything? She doesn't care. She doesn't care, anymore. really, yeah. anymore. And the second thing that happened is actually hit the prophecy. Yes. The prophecy that she f heard as a child, which says that she I would survive her, her, children. her children. And she would be killed by a Valonqar, which means little sibling in High Valyrian, because High Valyrian is gender neutral, so it could be a, a, a Man, man or, or, wom a woman. or woman. Now you can interpret it as in a little sibling. It doesn't sibling. have to be her little sibling. Yeah, is it her little sibling? It could be that little sibling. Yeah. If you're assuming it's her, then it's either Tyrion or Jamie. If it's another little sibling, it could be a lot of people. I think Jamie, I, I doubt he would ever kill her. I mean, he loves her too much, no matter what, I think. He's just, I mean, he, he wanted, he, he was willing to kill for her, you know? He's willing to go really far, so I doubt that. Tyrion is more likely when she sits on that throne, though, and Jaime looks at her, and even he, as much as he loves her, he has that moment of like, oh, I don't know. Shit, this I don't is know. Bad. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're getting that whole like uncertainty about it, and there was like, that scene was just perfectly put together, it was dark, no it light. It was really dark, yeah. All in black. And nobody's happy about this. <laughs> Cersei Lannister. Cersei Lannister. Lannister, you know. So we're probably gonna get name. we're probably gonna get the Lannister banner on King's Landing now. Next, ne yep, yep. Next yep. season. So we need to digest the episode a little more so we can do our season seven prediction video, which is gonna come out soon because there's so much. There's <laughs> so much. Two more seasons, America. Two more seasons. Two more seasons. Shorten season. Shorten season. Thirteen episodes total. Jesus. That means it's like this season plus three. That's like all that's left. Yeah! 
It's so gonna be so crazy. A year to wait. So those were our thoughts, but of course we want to hear your thoughts because it was crazy. It was insane. It was like, insane. what did you think? What do you think of Cersei? What do you think of Daenerys? What do you think of Arya? I mean, everything. Just, just let us know. If you do, do want to talk more about the episode, we're having our last live discussion slash Q&A with Kenny on Monday, 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, 8 p.m. Central European time. Details will be in the description yes. below. We also want to take this moment to thank you guys so, so much for watching our reviews, for liking, commenting, everything. Thank you so much. You make watching the show a lot more fun. <laughs> you did good. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Little finger in case we were wondering. He wants everything. And apparently everything is sitting on the Iron Throne with Sansa at his side as his queen. It might happen. You never know. I'm not opposed to that Little idea. Little finger is <laughs> I'm not like... opposed to that idea. <laughs>